Hey everybody, this is Dev Biker, and I'm going to take you on a little journey to take a look at how we can monitor our system performance in IQ. Uh, so this is part of my series on IQ for the long-time link users such as myself. So you'll notice I'm here on my desktop uh, because the first thing I want to show you is uh, something that's new to IQ and actually pretty darn cool. And this is called the QSpace. So if you see the um, uh, the icon for um, IQ in your system tray, you can right click on this and you can say show QSpace. And when you first install it, this QSpace is going to be blank. And you're like, yeah, what is this? Uh, why, why do I care about this? Well, you get into the cool stuff when you hit that little plus sign and you notice I have my H159 Pro there, I've got my HX1200i, I've got my Commander Pro, and then uh, here we go, I'll just do that one and eh, let's put my NVIDIA in there. <coughs> and so what we've done is we've added uh, the key things that we want to monitor and the key things that we want to take a look at, uh, in this case my cooler, my power supply, Actually, let's uh, let's take this power supply and move it down to the bottom. Here we go. There it is. Uh, get my Commander Pro up at the top. Um, and so this actually sits on uh, the right-hand side of what's going to be your primary monitor. So it'll appear on whichever monitor is currently your primary. So if you have a multi-monitor set up, um, whichever one is set to primary. Um, on the right hand side, it's going to be docked there. Um, you're not going to be able to move it to another monitor, so uh, just kind of keep that in mind. And um, uh, it will also uh, not get in the way of other applications. In fact, it, it takes space away. So if you have an ultra wide monitor, this is actually pretty cool because you've got that super wide space. Um, that you can take advantage of. Um, it just kind of sits there and you can keep an eye on things. You'll see that, you know, right now my temperatures are pretty good. Um, my radiator is um, running at around 31.3. The intake is at 30. So I have a temperature delta of 1.3 Celsius um, between the intake and the actual temperature. Uh, the exhaust is 31.8. Uh, which is kind of about normal. Uh, I typically see about uh, 0.5 to 0.7 degrees. Uh, the exhaust is warmer than the actual coolant, uh, which is kind of neat. You see that I can see my fan curves and all the different values. Um, if you don't want to see the graphs, you can uh, go ahead and click on the little hamburger menu and you have an option here to hide the graphs and then it'll just show you the different numbers. Um, you can't go in and edit anything. You can change the names if you want, um, but you can't go in and change any of your settings or any of that. Uh, to do that, you have to show um, uh, full Q, full IQ. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the Q space and let's take a look at what some of our other options are for monitoring uh, system performance variable. So let's go ahead and uh, bring IQ to the foreground. And here I am in IQ. I'm at my home screen. Um, and we have this thing called a dashboard in IQ. And so the dashboard, well, if, if you look at it, I've already configured it. I've already set some things up on it. Um, it gives you this, this much larger view than just the um, uh, the Q space uh, to monitor system variables and temperatures and that kind of thing. Um, so it'll get all of the, the same system variables that we saw in the IQ space. Right, so I can come in here. Um, oh, look at that. I can actually monitor my M65 uh, DPI if I want. So I can leave that up. Uh, system info. Let me go ahead and add my NVIDIA in here. Uh, GPU right because of course we care about that and I'm going to click and drag uh, to click and drag you seem to need to grab it right in this space right here and hold it for just a second or two before it registers that you want to move the thing around um, I have found that a little bit frustrating um, so just kind of keep that in mind when you want to move them around um, so same same here. Let me move the mouse down if it's gonna let me. Is it gonna let me? And it 
doesn't seem to be letting me move the thing. Ah, so uh, I'm not going to argue with it uh, any longer. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to hit my trash can and remove it from the screen. There we go. So problem solved. Um, you can also uh, increase the size. So if you want to see slightly larger graphs, a larger display of the individual items, you can increase the size um, and it'll change the width uh, and show you a bit more information. Uh, so that's the dashboard. That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting stuff. Um, if you want to take a look really in depth at individual parameters, you can also come over. Uh, let's start with the home screen and I'm going to go into my H115i Pro and you'll notice we have this graphing section uh, and you'll see this with all the different devices uh, that support gra that support uh, things like temperatures and that kind of stuff and in this case I want to take a look at my H115i temp and by default the graphing is going to show us a one minute view um, but you know what? I want to see a five minute view. So I can see a five minute a view of what's happening over the past five minutes or 10 minutes. Um, I can see what's been happening over the past 30 minutes. We see a good deal more variability in here over the past hour, right? So we can see I had a little dip, some increases, get to see what's going on here, right? One day. So with the one day view, you can actually see where I started up. IQ. So it's not going to remember the settings uh, between different sessions. If you exit IQ, it's going to forget all of that stuff. But if you leave IQ running, um, it will keep track of up to a day's worth of information that you can then view uh, in the graphic. For me, on my system, um, even though it's storing a full day's worth of, of information, I've actually found that it was remarkably, amazingly efficient. Uh, didn't consume a whole lot of memory, didn't consume a whole lot of CPU cycles, um, and gave me a really good view uh, and let me kind of see what trends were going on. This is particularly interesting too when you want to look at your temperatures, say, over a one hour gaming session. It's really kind of wild to see what happens with those. Um, so we can go ahead and just go ahead and take a look, and so you'll see kind of kind of wondering why my temperatures have been going up. That's actually hmm, kind of weird. Uh, I'll have to take a look at that when we when I'm finished with this video. Um, you can do the same kind of thing with the Commander Pro, right? So we come in here, we see the graphing, um, we can see what's going on with uh, different values, and you'll notice this is back to this is still at one hour, which is where I had it before, so it remembers what my preferred settings are. Um, and you can also do this in uh, with the um, uh, power supplies. Um, you can see what the fan is. You can see what the power in, power out, um, etc. So uh, really cool functionality uh, to do monitoring and system monitoring. Um, you'll see a lot of the same variables that you saw in Link, um, but you don't have to look at them at any point in time. Um, instead, you select which ones you care about, which ones you actually want to see on the screen, um, and you can hide them at any time. Uh, so if you want to add the rest of these in here, I'm, I mean, you certainly can. So there's my RAM, uh, and you can actually wind up with something that looks very similar uh, to the Link main screen. Um, just like in the QSpace, by the way, uh, you can't change any of the settings here. Um, It'll tell you what they are, but you can't change any of the settings here. You need to go into uh, home and then into the device to actually change any of the settings. Uh, can't do it from that dashboard. Okay, so with that, uh, that's kind of a quick look at what we can do with monitoring in IQ. Uh, thanks for joining me, and have a great one.